Hey there guys, we knew here. I'm back. I'm ready. I'm in my Halloween onesie. I'm ready to go for Barman Hero. I could never even dream of having that much energy throughout an LP in my lifetime. Anyways, welcome back to the N64 Summer and welcome back to Barman Hero. Um, we we're on planet 2, Primus or Primus or uh, something. Anyways, this planet has three areas like we're used to. Um, the Woods of Esora. I think I'm blocking that a little bit. But anyways, our first level here is Groog Hills. So we're gonna hop right into it. Since I've basically took the first episode and made like a entire tutorial level. Princess is very close. She's inside Primus Castle. So she she's right back where she started. Primus Castle is just ahead. But the guard is tough. Find the underground tunnel that's connected to the lake. So we gotta find a tunnel that's in a water level. Which, I don't remember if that actually adds up or not. <laughs> anyway. Oh, poopy sticks. Hold on one second. Alright, and we're back <laughs> to, uh... You know, tell my N64, hey, remember when I left you on and, uh, you know, uh, you were going to save all my progress? Um, yeah. That was incredibly risky. Ooh-wee! Anyways, um, so I'm going to try to tone down the tutorial level explanation of everything in this episode um, since I basically spent the entire last episode explaining everything in the world to you guys but uh, yeah we got obviously some new enemies here um, easiest way to defeat these guys is just to place a bomb down and then run away from it or if you're like me you can place a bomb down and then get your ass blown up by your own bomb. Because that works too. And now we're down to 4 2. Not good. Not good at all. But on the bright side of dying is the fact that we get to uh, collect more of our um, gems here for more uh, health upgrades. I hate these plant guys. Because there's no way to beat them in like one go you have to wait for them to go through an invulnerability phase before they're able to uh be actually killed wow that was close how do i get those gems up there um i don't remember I don't remember if there's like a switch or something that I can press. <laughs> okay. It's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Oh, shitty titties, I just realized. Yeah, you're supposed to leave that box there. You can jump on it. Or you can get hit jump across here. There's fire. Could have been at 4-4 if I didn't die like a dingus. Any secrets? Oh. Alright, I think this teleports you. Yup. Attack two freeze flowers at the same time and they'll give you flower sprinkles. That probably makes absolutely no sense, but now I actually remember how to get all that other stuff. So, um, that freezing plant back there, we're going to use that, um, did I just kill one of these plants in one go? Son of a bitch, how did I do that? I want to grab everything that I can here before I do this plant thing. Um... Again, not sure why I'm caring so much about the score, but I am. 
Um, then you're gonna hold this so we can do the uh, bomb throw. I don't know if I ever showed that off, but you basically gotta hit both sides of it at the same time. Kinda of screwed up there. Hello? Why is this not going? Could have sworn this is how you do this. Yeah. Okay, apparently I was just too close. Anyways. <laughs> what this is going to do is it's going to freeze over the level. Uh, make everything icy. But it's also going to bring everything that was high up down closer to the uh, ground. So all this kind of changes is that there's more enemies, all the stuff that was in the air you can now grab. Um, kind of allows you to backtrack a little bit and grab some more stuff. Not that it's super crucial that we do this, because like I said, I don't really care much for score. I'm just kind of going through it, but since I know about it, I might as well do it. Show it off a little bit. I think 6,000 is par. Not sure though. Anyways, we saw our exit back there. The like cave that had like purple entrance that looked really weird and uh, gross. Yeah, this thing. There we go. Uh, that's a five. That's what he should say after every level. Bubble hole. Kind of a gross looking level. Reminds me of a Jabu Jabu in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, these guys that hang out in bubbles and kind of have these bounce pads. It's uh, pretty cool. If you get it like right on the edge, you can get this. And those little uh, colored drop guys can combine, as you saw with this big purple guy, red and the blue got together and made it purple. I don't know if uh, bubble with a hole with a bubble may contain a secret. Right, so I know exactly what it's talking about. I don't know if it's um, more score to let them combine into a big purple guy or if it's uh, mm, or if it's a better score to kill them individually. I guess I could test it with this guy. Okay, so it's the same. You get 200, ooh, 200 points either way. Alright, well, you hop in here, teleport you down to the place where I kind of uh, <laughs> cheated my way up to earlier. Well, not really, it's just like that jump pad can get you up there, so it's not a big deal. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is secrets in all of them. Look at that. I was about to say, like, I don't think there's secrets in all of them. Come on. Backtrack a little bit because I want to find, yeah, this thing. Now I want to kill that guy. Can I get him? Yeah. Okay. Moving on. I don't think there's a secret exit to this level either. I don't quote me on that though. This is risky, but I don't think I can make that jump. I don't even want to try it. Um. Is that the exit up there? Um, well, if that is the exit, then I'll go back and I'll try to make that jump. 
Yeah, that's the exit. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Because I was like, there's gotta be a way to teleport up there. It can't just be, you have to make that hella risky jump and just hope for the best. So you go through here and teleport you up here. You donkey dick. I did not want to do that, <laughs> but lo and behold, my aim is impeccable. Alright. The date's a five. Irar's Lake? Irar's Lake? Ares Lake? Who knows? It's a water level. We've seen this. <laughs> I hate water levels so much. Banging music though. Alright, I'm gonna try my best to not get my ass blasted in this level. I don't think this level's too hard. You got more Moai memes that are gonna come at you. Ah. This guy's like right on this health. Oh! Oh! It's just Clam's got like homing missiles, but at least he only takes one bomb to kill. Like, how do I go back? I gotta like <laughs> refigure the water level controls out every time I play a water level. But like, I'm not kidding, they're that bad. Controls scheme wise. You might not believe me, but go ahead and get yourself an authentic Nintendo 64 and you can play this yourself and <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. What the flip? Those guys were not even anything I've ever remember seeing in this game. Giant Stingray, pretty easy. Three bombs, done. Not a problem. Came in here, no problem. Ooh, this part, I remember this now. Um, each one of these holes, these buttholes on the walls takes you to a different place. So, there's definitely secrets to be found here. You just have to figure out the right one. I don't know if that was a secret or not. Or if this was the actual right way to go. What does this radio tell me? To go through the exit ahead, you will need a wall through item. What? I don't remember this at all. Maybe all of those lead to exits, but different exits with different scores? Is there something in here? No. You can even, like, clip through the ground there and see there's nothing in there. You'll sake a sheet. So, if it's... Ugh. If it's talking about what I think it's talking about, that radio back there... There actually is a power-up that allows you to go through walls, but only very specific walls. It's not like a end-all, be-all wall thing, you know? Like, it's not like you activated Game Shark. Dude, I want whatever's in this hole, and this clam is, like, laying into me. There's that wall item. So there's certain transparent walls in the game that you'll find. Like that brick one at the very back there. Then this chip power up allows you to go through those walls. I guess if you go this route on this level, it uh, acts as like a soft tutorial for it. Dude. I'll say if this clam bitch kills me here, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I mean, I don't eat clams anyways, but... Whew! 
Woo-wee! Thank god I got a five on that. Holy moly. Alright, waterway we go. I think this is also a, uh... Jeez Louise. I think this is also a uh, microchip or a wall chip power thing level. I always thought it looked like a chip, so that's why I'm saying chip. Not like a potato chip. <laughs> or like a like a computer chip. Oh my god, that shark almost killed me. I think this is a fairly short level too. <laughs> Crazy ass looking top hat guy. Uh, I think that little green part on the ground there is a teleport. Uh, you don't want to hit that. There's a life in there. Well, you can jump over it to get those crystals and to get that life, basically. That's what I actually meant to say there. I think uh, the switch unlocks the door. Yeah. Or you can get in through that way. That works too. Oh, no secret there. Oh, hey, look at that. I actually got another piece of life I didn't even notice. So maybe that wasn't a... Uh, I thought it was an extra life that I picked up in there. But it was a... Uh, it was me getting 200 crystals. God, those guys are so ridiculous looking. I had a feeling that was going to hit me still. I just wasn't positive on it yet. Jeez, man. Trying to be precise. Grab all of these before this thing blows up. I think if you actually kill that thing with bombs, you can get the 4,000. Otherwise, I think we missed something. Hold up. There's a secret exit <laughs> to Arar's Lake. God damn it. Uh, okay, I have no idea where the secret exit is gonna be. It's gotta be with the uh, things at the end. And I guess technically, if you really wanna think about it, since I got the next level after this one, the uh, waterway level, that was technically the secret level, so I think um, I think I actually did get the secret on this one on accident. Maybe that's why I didn't remember it. I'm just mad that I have to basically play through half this level again. Um, let's go down this one. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Not where I wanted to go. But all right, I'll I'll take it since that rules one of them out. Is it really like the top center one? There's no way. That seems too obvious. It's this one. This is the actual exit. See, this looks familiar. So I'm more common with this exit for this world, for this level. Firepower up here. Not that I need it. Get to fight another one of these ray guys. Manta rays. Raymans. Rayman Origins? Okay. The digital zone. Shit it! 
You're welcome. Water slider. Oh, I remember this level. Okay. Man, I was nowhere near that guy. Down the road we go. Um, I'm gonna try, yeah. Oh, I need to be higher up. Or, you know what? Let's do it the easy way. Just use your momentum while going downhill to jump up here. Secret. Oh, the best! Oh! I almost died. Let's get out of the water for a second. There we go. The water, like, pushes you back. I don't know if I made that abundantly clear. Kind of makes it difficult to control. Alright. Let's jump back over. Now it's safe. Need to lower that platform. Oh, moving too much, boy. What's par for this? Oh. I was like, what the heck? 250 over? That seems weird. Alright, now we're on area two. Primus Castle. Rockin' Road. Uh, not as rockin' as you might think. These guys on their dang scooters, segways. Seg scooters, scooterways. I guess if you think about like the the way those levels all flowed together, it kind of makes sense. Like you go through the the lake and then you end up in the waterway and it makes sense. Anyways, gimmick here is there are gigantic rocks coming at you like spider monkeys. You just gotta do your best to avoid them. Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to do that. Woo! Our man's got hops. You can jump a lot farther than you might think you can. Oh, they done got me. So, let's keep moving. Got these cube guys. Pretty cool enemy design. Doesn't really make sense, but it's a cool enemy design. Poisonous gas coming out of the walls. This door is actually an enemy. Can attack him once his face appears. Uh, if you let him, if you don't just stun lock his ass like that, um, he can actually start shooting like discs and stuff out at you. Short level. Water pool. I think this might be the level that has... It's a wrap! When these guys die, they throw their tails off that become like bombs that chase you around for a bit. Uh, I think this is the level I was thinking of that has the... Um, the, uh, 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 microchip thing. The wall chip. That's what I was talking about. Holy moly, my frame rates. God damn, son. 
I don't know if you guys can see that as well as I can in the recording, but my frames just dropped hard. <laughs> That's why I uh, fell in the water there. God, you son of a bitch. Oh my God. Hardest enemy in the game, confirmed. up here again? Just crystals? Alright. Now I'm on the lookout for some health. Try not to jump in the water or face plant into poisonous gas like that. Oh my god. I knew it was gonna happen. Just a matter of time. Okay, thankfully there's that firepower right up there worry too much about uh, being set back in terms of bombs. Was there anything down here? Yeah, health. Okay. Dude, how did I miss that again? At least I have my uh, wits about me this time. Dude. The problem with that guy is he's in such like a small enclosed space and it just makes him ten times harder to fight. <laughs> scares me. Grab these crystals again. It's just closer to that health upgrade. I think you can... Oh, knock back. I think you can jump in between these platforms without having to, uh... bomb those spike ones in the middle. Oh my god. This level's kicking my dick in. That's not even that hard of a level. up on these pipes. Safety vest is definitely nice. <sighs> that jump made me nervous. Here's the exit. Oh shoot, I think the two exits, yeah, are like right next to each other in this world. <laughs> in this level. Oh! I will take it, you son of a bitch. I forget which one's the secret one, which one's the real one. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. We gotta play through the level again anyways. Might as well go down and get this one. I think this is a secret. I did it! See, and that one sucks, because they're right at the end, right next to each other. So, that was the regular one. <laughs> so... The higher up one is the secret. Dude! Why is this level so hard? Why are my frame rates just chugging, dude? Oh, mama. Hardest level in the game confirmed. Jeez Louise. I just want to get my low frame rate ass into the into the exit. I'll take that health. Thank you. Since this level is extremely unforgiving for some reason. Okay, don't go down the slide. There we go. Done. I did it. <sighs> Never touch that level again. Okay, million road. Got another uh, bomber jet level, or whatever it's called. 
This is a pretty cool level. We're like inside the castle. I get hit by that. Why wouldn't I? These turd burglars. Oh my frames. Oh my frames. Uh these guys can be hard because they backpedal and shoot out these missiles at you. And the big problem with that is that they, uh, their missiles actually count as, like, hits for your bombs, so if you, if you shoot one of their missiles and it's too close to you, then you're gonna have a bad time. If, like, you, if you do anything near them, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. You just kind of have to look for those small windows that you're able to shoot past their stupid ass little missiles and not hurt yourself in the process. Especially when there's two of them. And because they backpedal, they eventually will hit a wall where they stop, but it uh, just makes it frustrating, dude. Like, see, I'd rather just fly past them and not even worry about it. Just easier that way. God, this level is a son of a bitch. I don't know what par is for this level, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna be shocked if we get it. We fought this guy before, so this guy's nothing new. Same exact strategy as before. See if you get like two hits in and dodge his missiles. Go for it. Okay, we got it. Thank God. <laughs> I did not want to do that level again. That uh, was not fun. Okay, warp room. Well, there's the chip that I keep talking about. These guys are like alarm bots. If they get close to you, they get all big and chungusy, and then they kind of set off their own timer and blow up. Uh, it can be annoying because I don't think they count for score once they do that. I'm not 100% sure. So you see the uh, ADOC bomb, I think that's what they're called, right? Is behind uh, one of those walls, so. Oh, I actually think I needed that. No, I didn't. Never mind. So the secret is actually trying to find the... Or get to the microchip, or whatever it is. Wall chip? Why do I keep calling it a chip? You gotta get to that thing, and then... Basically, like, make peace with your demons. And I, I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about there, but you know what I'm talking about. Of course you know what I'm talking about. I'm like trying to focus on the game and commentate at the same time and sometimes it just <laughs> does not work out well. Oh, these barrel bitches. Don't even start. These guys are annoying as hell. Is he dead? Is he dead? That gets that platform moving. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a platform moving now. But now you can see why they call this level warp room. Hey, we got it. It's not that hard of a secret to find, now that I think about it. Anyways, let's grab it. So that platform's moving now, but, um... Oh wait, what, what was in the purple one? Okay, so we did explore all these. I thought there was a teleporter somewhere that I didn't go into yet. I was about to say, like, we should probably backtrack and grab that. Never mind. Let's hop on the platform and get out of here. 
think this leads to another one? Yeah. The green boy. There's the exit. These fucking barrel bitches. Because you can't actually attack them until they're rolling at you. Maybe they don't take multiple hits. I just remember getting really annoyed by them. Not sure why. <laughs> I just think there's some later in the game that are in difficult spots. Dark prison. Oh my god, my frame rate is gonna chug hard in this level. To open the crystal door, you need four key crystals. So, this level is kind of like an open floor concept <laughs> of a prison. Uh, you're gonna go around, you have these prison cells that you have to open up. Uh, and you're looking for crystals. Or the uh, key crystals. Problem being that you can travel in any which direction you please. Uh, until you find them all. So the level is designed to be super open, which means this level is very big in terms of like N64 rendering. So my frame rates are not having it. This goober. I don't think there's any major secrets or anything in this level too, so I don't think you have to worry about that. It's just making sure you grab everything in every corner of the world. I don't know what that switch does either. I think about it. Okay, it gets that platform moving. I can't jump back up there. You son of a beach. And that is why I don't like this level. Hmm. Uh, th I just remember this level being infamous for giving me trouble as a kid. I think that's a large part of it. There's just a high risk factor <laughs> uh, in terms of like falling off, in terms of enemies. There's just a lot that's working against you in this level. I got it. No problem. Okay, so now we know this. Why can't I place a bomb? There we go. That opens up this, or the platform over here, which leads to another key, which is super risky. Of course, why wouldn't it be? Oh, right on it. Okay, this time we're being a little more cautious about what we're doing. Where? <sighs> My goodness, guys. Hey, welcome back to the N64 Summer. Okay, we are back where we were. The only difference now is that I've killed the uh, floating thing that was above over here that I died trying to get last time. My god, you would not believe that this is like my fifth attempt, would you, if I told you that? I just keep falling off this place and it just <laughs> keeps getting me so bad. Um, but I guess it speaks to the difficulty of this level, but also just the air controls, like I said, maneuvering in the air is just a shit show. So this is a power-up that I'm not sure that I want. It's... Oh, don't you do it. It's probably one of the more controversial power-ups in the game. It's not like controversial like it's gonna, you know, like abort your babies or anything, but it's remote detonate bombs. Uh, but it does count for score. Basically, your bombs don't blow up anymore until you hit Z, I think. or until they hit an explosion naturally. I think, um... I forgot how you make them. Okay, that's how you make them blow up. 
it's either the Z button or something. I don't know what, but I'm not going to talk about it. Anyways, let's get this level over with. <laughs> um, I think they still explode when they hit enemies, though. Which is, like, the only real thing that you need. Yeah. Okay. I swear, if par for this level is 3,000, I'm going to shit my pants. You son of a bitch. I did it! <laughs> right. We'll be back later. I almost got all fives, damn it. Okay, so anyways, we gotta verse Nitrous again. Princess Million, are you alright? This banging beat starts playing. You can just walk right through those bars. Bomberman, Piebot, Peabot, thank goodness you're here. Nitrous is looking for the disc I stole. Good thing it's up my ass. Oh, hey. Bomberman, you're a persistent little creature. I'm not letting this girl go. Got something for her, bro? She's mine. We'll fight again, and Adok. Hey, that's the name of the bombs. <laughs> I just realized that. What is what's the significance of that? <laughs> Stone faced, like I don't care who wins, whoever does gets this ace. I'm gonna try to Never mind. Fuck it. I'm going back to my old strategy. The like speedrun strat is to like get him to I think you have to hit him with a bomb and then you kick a bomb at him. But like it seems like his invulnerability frames are just like too much. These discs are annoying too, the orange spaces he lands on. Because he summons these discs. And uh They don't go away until you either hit them with a bomb or they hit you. Thanks. Once again, we were close on getting a five on that, too. Uh, since I think par for every boss. Oh! I thought par for all the bosses was uh, 7,000. God damn it, Piebot. What happened? I'm just going to call him Piebot. Peabot sounds stupid. Princess is in the clock tower. What? <laughs> Literally in the clock tower. Not really, she's more like on it. She's pulling a Kingdom Hearts slash Peter Pan. Alright, area three we go. Four levels. Killer gate. <laughs> Sounds fun. I think this is our first introduction of the uh, copter. Yeah. So this is the other style, I guess I'll say, of uh, flying level. Um, but it's much different than like the jet one where you're just auto scrolling forward. It jumps. So, pretty standard fare. God, this song has, this level has such a good song. Um, as a copter, you naturally go down, you press A to go up. You have pretty good mobility while doing it. Um, and then you have the ability to drop bombs now instead of just shooting them. Um, so aiming is still up to you. But you just drop them straight down wherever you are. To open the killer gate, you have to destroy 10 submarines. That's the other unique thing about this level, is that it's not simply just find the exit. These big blue submarine enemies that keep shooting missiles at me. You have to kill 10 of those before you can go to the exit. 
So I'm going to do this as cleanly as possible. Um, best way to gauge like where your bombs are dropping is just look at your shadow. Um, it's the best tell for where your bombs are going to land. But yeah, these are... Copter levels are pretty fun. They're definitely some of my more favorite levels. Which is a shame because I think there's only like two of them, this one included, in the game. Don't quote me on that though. Again, I'm working off some age old ass memory here. I think there's power ups all along the sides. I see an ADOC bomb up there. Crystal's hiding. Woo wee! I think I like get all right up in their faces. It's pretty easy to hit them. Okay. Ooh, wow, we I keep cutting it close on those. Holy moly. Get rid of all these uh turret guys. Is 4,000. We did it. I did it! No, we did it, God damn it! Spiral Tower. This is another level that's just like stuck in my memory. Like, when I think of this game, this is one of the levels I think of. Um, I don't think there's any major secrets. I'm curious as to why I can go back here. Some crystals. Extra life. I'll take it. Since I'm probably going to die anyway. Well, nope. alright. Just like a little uh, side path thing. Anyways, I saw this enemy up here that I want to get to. And there's that crystal back there, behind the stairs. Concept for this level is pretty simple. You're just climbing a tower. There's just lots of traps and enemies along it. Ooh, my frames. Ooh, cha. Like the N64 is trying to render the entire tower all at once. And it's just like, mm, can we not? <laughs> As you can see, our exit is already right here in our faces. Oh my god! I don't think there's, I don't think there's a secret exit for this level. Don't quote me on that. Never quote me on anything I say. Climb up a little bit further and see if there's a secret exit. I don't remember there being one. And again, how much higher this thing goes. There could be a secret exit. Oh! <laughs> I hate <laughs> the, the slipperiness of the air controls in this game. It makes me so angry. It's like, why, why would you make it so slippery, but only in the air? Like, it, it's so hard to describe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just old. Oh, wait, no. 
Oh, my balls. This time, don't fall off. There's an ADOC bomb up here. Take that. Maybe that's all that's up here is a secret. I swear, if par is 3,000... <sighs> you guys are gonna hear it. What did I miss? <laughs> God damn it. So... Not counting the ADOG bomb, that means I missed like a hundred there. Which means... I don't know. There there must be an enemy or something I missed, or like a crystal. Got another kind of vertical level here. Gotta collect these crystals again, the key crystals. Find four of those. We're about to get another piece of life too. But thankfully this level's not like it. <laughs> as open as the uh, other one that we were at. This one's more kind of just like linear and climb up and grab crystals you see. Problem is if you saw that I went down first instead of going straight up. Uh, as your instinct might tell you to. And that's because uh, if you do go uh, straight up, you'll end up getting to the top of this place with only three crystals, and then you'll wonder where the fourth one is. And you'll backtrack your ass all the way through this level and waste a bunch of time. It's not fun. Let me grab this health. Oh, hey, our health went up actually. Grab this. Watch out for giant gears. I'll take it, like, it's a small price to pay for salvation, as a great man once said. Oh! I actually got hit by that. I didn't think I did. I always used to think these guys were made of chocolate. They look like enemies from Chameleon Twist, actually. <laughs> Not that we're gonna play that. Unfortunately, uh, I can't get Chameleon Twist working on my authentic N64. Unless I do like some heavy ass research into why it's not working. Holy moly. 300 over. Dang. Versus Baruda. Baruda? I hardly know her. So, this big bird bitch. It's about time he showed up, Bomberman. I'm Baruda, big brother Endol's first pupil. This guy just like had a bird and was like, I'm gonna teach you. I held million hostage so you'd come. You mean this is a trap? We'll settle this over there. Get ready, Bomberman. Right in that giant fucking fan. We'll settle it right there. She's a little pale. Here I come. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice that before. Anyways, um, so this is a boss that you actually fight in copter form. Uh, can be kind of annoying, but basically once you get over him, you just shit on his head until he dies. And that's basically the whole boss. But if you get too high, he can start to avoid your bombs so it even with like the worst depth perception in the world you just have to be mindful of it and then mindful of his beams if he flies too low he's not going to get hit by your bombs because they'll blow up before they hit him he fucking killed me dude <laughs> no scope 420'd my ass Anyways, not a difficult boss. Pretty easy. 
His attack pattern changes kind of, depending on how low you are. That's when he does more of those swoops. This time's not going as well as the last time. That's because he's doing a really good job of not being under me. Let's say I got him in a pattern now. Not super difficult. I, did it! I mean, I only died that first time, I think, because I wouldn't do it with such low life and because I was being super uh, greedy and aggressive. Now the princess is on it. Uh, can a Tia start? <laughs> Let's hurry. Took you a minute there, Piebot figure out the pronunciation of that. I had to like reread it six times in my head before I could actually like figure that out. <laughs> Alright, what's our score? So freaking close to perfect. Like once in each section I lost one. That was almost a gold man. A bonus stage. This one might take a little bit more time than the last one. Because you have to kind of like bounce and individually grab all these things, but you still have plenty of time to do it. Gotta get that crystal count up. Trying to get my life bar like off the screen, like we're playing Kingdom Hearts. Thing. There we go. We're stocked up for Canatia Star Planet. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Bomberman Hero. I will see you next time when we will hop into this next planet, which looks very arid. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.